Here are 50 quotes attributed to Martin Luther King Jr. 1. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. 1. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. 2. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. 3. The time is always right to do what is right. 4. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. 5. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. 6. We must accept finite disappointment, but never lose infinite hope. 7. I have decided to stick with love. 7. Hate is too great a burden to bear. 8. Faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. 9. We may have all come on different ships, but we're in the same boat now. 10. The time is always right to do what is right. 11. The ultimate tragedy is not the oppression and cruelty by the bad people but the silence over that by the good people. 12. I have a dream that one day little black boys and girls will be holding hands with little white boys and girls. 13. There comes a time when silence is betrayal. 14. We must learn to live together as brothers or perish together as fools. 15. Love is the only force capable of transforming an enemy into a friend. 16. The function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. 16. Intelligence plus character. That is the goal of true education. 17. The time is always right to do what is right. 18. I look to a day when people will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. 19. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? 20. In the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. 21. If you can't fly then run, if you can't run then walk, if you can't walk then crawl, but whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. 22. Only in the darkness can you see the stars. 23. I came to the conclusion that there is an existential moment in your life when you must decide to speak for yourself. Nobody else can speak for you. 24. We must build dikes of courage to hold back the flood of fear. 25. If a man has not discovered something that he will die for, he isn't fit to live. 26. The means we use must be as pure as the ends we seek. 27. The time is always right to do what is right. 28. We must live together as brothers or perish together as fools. 29. Freedom is never voluntarily given by the oppressor. It must be demanded by the oppressed. 30. We must accept finite disappointment but never lose infinite hope. 31. We must develop and maintain the capacity to forgive. 31. He who is devoid of the power to forgive is devoid of the power to love. 32. I believe that unarmed truth and unconditional love will have the final word in reality. 33. We must learn to live together as brothers or perish together as fools. 34. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. 35. If you lose hope, somehow you lose the vitality that keeps life moving, you lose that courage to be, that quality that helps you go on in spite of it all. 35. And so today, I still have a dream. 36. Nonviolence means avoiding not only external physical violence but also internal violence of spirit. 36. You not only refuse to shoot a man, but you refuse to hate him. 37. We must use time creatively, in the knowledge that the time is always ripe to do right. 38. 
An individual has not started living until he can rise above the narrow confines of his individualistic concerns to the broader concerns of all humanity. 39. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. 40. I refuse to accept the view that mankind is so tragically bound to the starless midnight of racism and war that the bright daybreak of peace and brotherhood can never become a reality. 41. We must come to see that the end we seek is a society at peace with itself, a society that can live with its conscience. 42. If we are to have peace on earth, our loyalties must become ecumenical rather than sectional. 42. Our loyalties must transcend our race, our tribe, our class, and our nation. And this means we must develop a world perspective. 43. We must concentrate not merely on the negative expulsion of war but on the positive affirmation of peace. 44. The moral arc of the universe bends at the elbow of justice. 45. We are not makers of history. 45. We are made by history. 46. We must accept finite disappointment, but never lose infinite hope. 47. I have the audacity to believe that peoples everywhere can have three meals a day for their bodies, education and culture for their minds, and dignity, equality, and freedom for their spirits. 48. Our scientific power has outrun our spiritual power. 48. We have guided missiles and misguided men. 49. The soft-minded man always fears change. 49. He feels security in the status quo, and he has an almost morbid fear of the new. 49. For him, the greatest pain is the pain of a new idea. 50. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy.